This video will walk through the navigation and features of the performance reports, which consists of the student breakdown report and the class overview report in MindTap. The MindTap performance reports provide insight into your class performance aligned to course objectives and chapter sections to help identify areas where your class may be struggling, as well as which specific students are struggling. These reports can be customized to your individual preferences and the data can be exported for your class or individual students. From the homepage of your MindTap course, you will immediately see two quick references for your performance reports, Troubled Areas and Students in Need. Troubled Areas will track and warn you of specific course objectives or sections that your students may be struggling with. Clicking on View Now for this panel will open you directly to the Class Trouble Areas report. Students in Need will track students based on their performance and engagement. Clicking View Now will open you directly to the Student Breakdown report. Let's begin with the Class Overview report. The Class Overview report provides analytics on class performance categorized by chapter section or learning objectives. It is intended to help you quickly understand which topics the majority of the class is struggling with so you can determine which topics to spend more time covering in your course. This report is filtered by default to only show chapter sections with an average class score of less than 80%. This default may be changed using the filters option. The chapter and section taxonomy allows you to see class performance student participation levels, and number of questions attempted by chapter and section. To view the class performance metrics by learning objective, you may change the taxonomy by clicking on the Showing drop-down menu and switching it to Learning Objectives. The Learning Objective taxonomy allows you to see the chapters covered by the listed objectives. The average student performance for each objective the percentage of students who have participated in each objective by attempting at least one question related to the objective, and how many questions have been attempted that are related to this objective. You can use the Clear Filters button to remove all filters and show all chapter sections or learning objectives covered so far. You may also click Filters to modify your current filter settings. The filter options will change based on the taxonomy selected, with learning objectives allowing you to set the level of objective displayed, the date range of objectives displayed, setting the performance and engagement thresholds to display, and selecting the chapters to display. The filtering options for the chapter and sections taxonomy will contain all of these settings except for the learning objectives level selection. When selecting or changing filters, you have the option to apply or save as defaults. Using apply will set the filters for your current session only, while save as default will save these filter settings so that these are the filter options that are used every time you use the report. After applying or saving your filter settings, your filter settings will appear at the top as pill-shaped icons. You can remove one filter by closing its pill or remove all filters with the Clear Filters button. At the top right, clicking on Tour will give you a live walkthrough of this report. Settings will let you modify the settings for this page, including changing the thresholds by which students' performance is judged. Finally, Download allows you to download this report as an Excel spreadsheet file after selecting how you would like the report to be formatted and filtered. You can select which taxonomy is used for this spreadsheet, which date you would like included, and the time frame of assignments included by due date. When you have set these settings, click Download. This completes the Class Overview Report walkthrough. Next, we'll walk through the navigation and features of the Student Breakdown Report that is part of the Performance Reports in MindTap. From the homepage of the MindTap course, you will notice the Students in Need reference for this performance report. Clicking on View Now will open you directly to the Student Breakdown Report. The Student Breakdown Report shows performance and engagement with students grouped into cohorts based on root cause of needs. 
The Student Breakdown Report is intended to help diagnose which students are struggling, as well as why students are likely to be struggling, thereby helping you target the right interventions to each student. The report categorizes your students into one of six cohorts based on their performance and engagement. High effort strugglers represent students who are completing all their work, putting in the effort, yet still struggling. They have high engagement and low performance. The default settings label someone as low performing if their overall grade is less than 80% and high engagement if they have completed 75% of activities or more. Low effort strugglers represent students who are not putting in much effort and are struggling. They have low engagement, having completed less than 75% of the activities, and low performance, which means their overall grade is less than 80%. High attempt achievers represent students with a high grade above 80% and a high number of attempts, more than 1.5 on assignments. This can help identify students who are performing well, but may struggle on quizzes and exams where they only are allowed one attempt. Low effort achievers represent students who are performing well despite not putting in much effort. They have engagement less than 75% and an overall grade above 80%. High effort achievers represent students who are highly engaged and are performing well. These will be students whose grades are above 80% and their engagement is above 75%. No activity represents students who have not engaged with your course materials yet. When you expand a cohort, you will see a listing of all students grouped into that cohort, along with data on that student's engagement and performance. This table will have six data points per student. Graded score represents the weighted average score for graded activities due within the date range and for chapters selected in the current filter settings. This score is inclusive of late penalties. Activities completed represents the number of graded activities due within the date range and filtered chapters that have been completed. Time spent represents the cumulative time spent on all graded activities within the due date range and current filter settings. Time spent is calculated based on active time spent in the course and not elapsed time. This is done by excluding idle time of 20 minutes or more from the total. Average attempts represents the average number of attempts on graded questions for all graded activities completed within the due date range and current filter settings. Late activities represents number of graded activities that were submitted after their due date within the due date range and current filter settings. And finally, last attempt represents a timestamp of the last attempt made on a graded activity that falls within the due date range and current filter settings. Each of these data points may be sorted by clicking on the column name. Numerical values may be sorted highest to lowest or vice versa, and dates may be sorted most recent to oldest or vice versa. Note that sorting will occur within each cohort only. You can modify the filter settings by clicking Edit Filters, which will allow you to set a time frame of due dates and which chapters you would like to see. If you would like to see the total time spent by a student in your course, or if you would like to see data for students from the beginning of your course until today, you can uncheck Only Include Activities in the Last Weeks to see that metric. The Settings button in the top right will allow you to adjust both the grade thresholds for performance reports and the threshold for high or low engagement. The Tour button will provide you with a live walkthrough of the report and its features. The Download button will allow you to download this report in an Excel file that contains all data corresponding to your current filter settings. If you would like to view data for individual students, First, find the student by browsing the lists or use the Find a Student search at the top to filter for that student. Once you have found the student you are looking for, click on their name to see performance and engagement by activity. Finally, if you would like to drill down to see the student's submission of an assignment, you may click on that assignment from this view, which will load their attempt 
on the chosen assignment. Thank you for viewing this video on MindTap performance reports. For additional help or resources, please view our training and support sites.